today we're going to talk about how to get this character to do what you're seeing right here and we're going to start by talking about how to rig this artwork so we're going to kind of work backwards from here and here's like the basic rig right so we can do that you can kind of like do this and you lift like one of these legs and they bend and all this kind of stuff so we're going to get all the way to this point in this video so I'm gonna walk you through how to how to create this rig um, using my script uh, Puppet Tools for After Effects. All right, so let's take a look at, at what our goal is first before we do anything. Okay, so we have this kind of bare bones artwork, and we want to be able to create a walk cycle out of this. That that's the goal. Okay, let's get this character to to walk on a loop. Um, so we're gonna need to you know control the legs bending. We're gonna want to kind of bend the body the arms a little bit and maybe get some of these ears flopping. Um, just some kind of basics. And I think we can use a few different tricks and tools from uh, from the script over here to do that. Seems like Puppet Tool is probably the way to go here. And then maybe we'll use some IK for the legs if, if that makes sense. And then we'll also want this kind of like main controller to like, you know, drag her around. So let's start with the leg first. Or is it, I think it's down here, right leg. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna solo these. What do we want to do with this? We have these two two layers. We have a boot and a leg, and we want it to be able to to bend, right? Just just like this, okay? So we kind of get this nice like leg bend right here by dragging this control, all right? And then we have a separate control for for the boot down here, which is kind of nice, okay? So let's set that up together. I'm gonna add some puppet pins. So I'm gonna put one here where it kind of like it connects to the waist, maybe one where the knee is and then one near the ankle. Normally I would name them, but whatever, let's let's be kind of lazy. I'm gonna create controls, okay? And right away, those are like way too big. Okay, so let's go into settings here, and we'll take the controller size down to, let's go with like 25, see what that does. Okay, that's, that's a little better. I think we can work with that though. Yeah, 20, 25 looks good. So now, we need to create that leg bend, and I'm gonna use IK to do that. So we're gonna select the ankle here first, then the knee, then the thigh, we're gonna hit create IK. Okay, all right, now we got it, yeah. And that's the right bend direction. We could flip it up here if we wanted to, but that would look totally weird. So I'm gonna leave it like that. That's cool, so the leg is doing what we want now. Let's get the boot to, to kind of work with that too. Okay, so I'm gonna select our boot, and I'm not gonna put any puppet pins or anything on there, uh, but I do want a controller for it. But before I do that, if we were to just hit create controllers, it's gonna make it right in the middle where the anchor point is. And I want it to be down here so I get a little more, a little more kind of control at the rotation. So I'm gonna take the anchor point of this boot, move it down to the heel right around there, and then I'm gonna hit create controller. All right, and now we got our, our little kind of like boot controller down there. Now, you'll see if we, if we move this around, right, our, our boot will move with it, we rotate it, it kind of rotates from the from the heel, which I like, that's good. But I want that to move with the rest of the leg here. So I think the quick solution is let's parent the boot controller to the IK control, or actually not the IK control, because if we do that, oh my God, foot out the window. So that's that's not exactly right. We wanted to get it to stick right here. So we want to actually parent it to that, that controller right there. So let's take this boot control and not parent it to that, but parent it to the one that's locked right underneath it, which is like the ankle. So now, when we take that control and we bend it, hey, hey, it stays with it out here even, okay? And that's cool. And then, so we have this. And then in the event that, you know, we need to like reposition the boot or something, we just grab this down here, move it around, rotate it, whatever we need it to do. So that's kind of the, the basic leg setup for this rig, all right? We might have to reorder some things. Okay, right? So now we have that, all right, cool. So I'm gonna set up the other leg real quick and it's gonna go super fast, BRB. Okay, I'm back. So now we have both of our legs set up here so we can bend this guy, ta-da. And we got this guy too, look at that, all right. So what's next? Let's go and take, take a look at this rig. Okay, so we have the leg bending, that's good, that's great. We kinda want this like waist control where, yeah, you move the whole thing. Okay, all right, so that's cool, I can do that. I'm gonna kind of do this so you can see all the layers. So what we're looking for, ah, waist, this layer right here, okay? So the waist, this thing, 
This will be our kind of like global area. So what I'm gonna do is just create a controller for this, but I'm gonna make it a square, okay? And I'm also gonna make it a different color. I'm gonna make it like purpley, okay? So I'm gonna hit create controller and we get that. That's a little too small uh, because I want it to be a little bigger and easier to select. So let's, let's try doing 100. That feels about right, but I want it to be a little wider. So in this case, uh, I'm just gonna go in here, down here to this shape thing. And it's okay, you can mess with this. It won't mess it up too much or at all. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna make it a little wider so uh, it's easier to see and, and select. And so now what we wanna do is we wanna have this be the kind of thing that everything else works with. So we move this around the character, it, it moves more than just the character's waist. Actually, you know what, we can put it behind everything. Yeah, cause we can just grab it out here, okay? All right, so let's start first. We have the waist, yep, that's cool, but like kind of weird, we don't want that. So let's get our legs connected to that first. So what we wanna do is we wanna take each of these leg controllers, right? This and this, not that, this, <laughs> yeah, that, right? Okay, and we want to parent that to this thing. So when we move them around, they all move together, okay? So we're gonna grab that top one, then we're gonna grab this one, and let me just expand this. And we're gonna say, okay, let's parent both of those to this waist controller at the bottom here. So now we grab this, move it around. All right, we got legs, they're moving. Haha, -ha, pretty close at least to what we have set up here. All right, this is, this is a full rig. Okay, so now let's talk about the top half here. So we'll just kind of work our way up. So if we look at this animation, um, we see that the torso, it's, it's getting like a little rotation on it. We're not really bending it too much. Um, you can if you want, but I think in this case, just a little rotation is enough. And you can kind of see that this little square, the little orange square is kind of doing it. And I like to use, you know, different controllers and different colors and it helps me kind of organize what I'm working with, right? Because if they were all green in the same shape, I'd be like, okay, wait a minute. You might get lost with a controller if they ever overlap and stuff like that. So in this case, green legs and you know, it's purple and orange and pink and blue up here. So that kind of color coding, uh, I think, uh, will help you down the road when things get you know, really complex and you're dealing with all this kind of stuff. Like you might even wanna have the two legs be different colors in this case, you know, cause that, that can be a little confusing. But back to business here. Let's find our torso, um, which is down here off screen, of course. Okay, torso. And we want it to rotate from right around the waist. So before we make a controller for it, I'm just gonna grab the anchor point, put it right down here. You know what, I'm gonna solo this just to make sure. Okay, so yeah, somewhere around there looks pretty good. And also let's just change, um, change the color of this. So if we wanna meet our goal, we'll have it be orange. And then maybe it can be like, 50, so somewhere somewhere in the middle. Let's try that. That looks pretty good to me. So let's see how that works with everything else. Yeah, 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 cool, okay. So I think that works. That's easy enough to distinguish, right? All right, so now let's get all this working together. So we now have a torso control, right? So if we move this around, our torso is moving. Let's connect that to our waist now, okay? So I'm gonna grab torso control. I'm gonna parent that to waist control at the very bottom. So now we drag this around, our legs are bending, our torso's moving. Oh, we forgot the zipper. Let's get that, that little like zipper flap. Okay, I'm just gonna parent that directly to the torso control also, because I don't, I don't know that we'll need to do much with that. Yeah, cool. Okay, so hey, we're getting there, all right? Where do we go next? Let's take a look at our rig over here. Okay, so we got this thing, we got the waist and that moving. Okay, so if we're working our way up, let's move on to the arms. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in a little and let's start with this arm right here. So I think this is the, what is this, left arm? I'm gonna solo it. That looks like it. Okay, so I'm gonna solo these two things and you know what, I'm gonna bring the torso back too, just for fun. So uh, this arm is already kind of bent so I don't think we need any IK for this. Um, 
but in the event we do just want to kind of move it a little bit for this and let's let's take a look at our, our animation don't think much is going on with that yeah in fact it might not be moving at all in this but nonetheless let's give ourselves some options here so okay we're going to go back and we're going to set up just some kind of control points for this so we can't bend it all right so i'm going to turn that off and we're going to look at just the arm layer for now and let's make some puppet points here so we'll put one up here at the shoulder and then maybe one around like this elbowy looking thing and one right on the wrist and in this case um, i want it to stand out so if we want to kind of mimic our, our rig before and really pop against yellow maybe we do something pink or red or something and also i want to make them circles and the same size as the other circles so 25 and then we'll just pick like a, a kind of pink color down here okay cool and in this case you know what i'm going to do a parent chain so I'm gonna say parent top down. So that way if we like rotate this, everything else will rotate with it. All right, so let's do create controllers and see if that's gonna work. Okay, cool. Color wise, that looks good to me. And yeah, it seems like we have things parented. So let's do a quick, quick test here. If we rotate, yeah. So like, you know, we don't need much for what we're animating here. Um, and if you do wanna like actually control this arm and really make a bend, we would probably want to start with a piece of artwork that was um, just kind of going straight out so that we could bend it just like we did the legs. But in this case, I think this will work just fine. Let's not forget about our hand though. I am going to move its anchor point like down here though, because you can't really see much of it. It's just like a little kind of like, you know, fist looking thing. Um, so I might just parent it directly to this controller right here. I think that'll work for for this so now a quick test to make sure this works cool so what else do we need all right so maybe let's do the other arm and i'm gonna solo it again i'm gonna do the same kind of thing so we'll do pin shoulder pin elbow pin wrist and this one if we go back and we look at the animation this one does have a little bit of movement on it so i want to make sure we're, we're set up right to do that okay so we're going to go back here um i'm going to create uh, you know, same color is fine. So we'll do the same kind of setup. So we'll do that. Okay. Looks good to me. What else do we have? Oh, so in this one we have a hand and I think, you know, we might want to rotate the hand and do a little bit more with it. So let's just solo the hand here and make a little controller for it. And you know what? I'm going to make sure that it's like right there, but I want kind of, I kind of want to make sure it's like, you know, behind this sleeve. So that way it rotates from this point. It's not going to rotate here and you're not going to like see weird edges of the hand. Like what I probably should have done is extended this artwork a little bit more out here, but I didn't. So here we are. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to move the, the anchor point back a little bit for that hand. Um, and I think, I think that'll be okay. Now, if we parent this hand, I want to parent it to the wrist here. Yep. That's the one. Okay. So I'm going to drag that there. And there it is. So now we get a little bit of rotation. Yeah, the hand moves with it. And we're not like seeing any weird edges on, on the hand because it's rotating from just a little further back, which is kind of nice. All right, so thank you, autosave. Always a good friend. Let's figure out where we're at. So we have both of our arms bendy and we have this down here in the torso. Uh, okay, so we need to connect our arms to our torso. So we move this around, everything moves together. And I'm also seeing some of the like controls are hidden behind the artwork. So I'm gonna move some of this stuff up. There we go. Okay. So to get all these to work together, right? We need to parent these arms. Well, not you. Yeah, you. To the torso. So let's dig in here. I think <laughs> I should have named these things, but I think, oh, see, that's the wrong one. So we wanna select the shoulders. So that's gonna be pin three. And then where's the other arm? Pin three, this one, okay. And then we want to parent both of these to the torso control. Parent both of these to the torso. Okay, and now let me zoom out and move this thing around. All right, we are getting there, look at that. So everything's kind of moving together. We just have no head. Almost done. Uh, let's get through it here. Let's let's get our, our head rig set up, and then we'll be we'll be ready to go. 
So let's take a quick look back at what the head is doing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch the animation actually. Because when you're rigging stuff, you always wanna be thinking about, okay, what do I wanna do with this character? So, you know, you don't have to make controls and rig things that you're never gonna use, um, but it's nice to have options too. Um, in this case, we, we have something very specific we're going for, so we can build our rig um, that it will be tailored to that. Okay, so what is our head doing? I see a little bit of rotation around like the neck here just to get it to kind of bounce, tiny bit on the nose, and we got some nice like floppy ear stuff going on, which is really, really cool. Like that, I feel like this character really needs that to sell it. I, I'm thinking some puppet tools up here, um, and the head, we just need some good like rotation control down there. So let's build our rig accordingly. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna take a look at the head, just this layer. I think fundamentally for the head, we really only need to rotate it. So I'm just gonna make a position control for it. So I'm gonna take the anchor point, drag it where I think the neck might be, and always be thinking about, you know, putting this anchor point wherever you want the rotation to go. So if you put it down here, it's gonna rotate from here and when you bounce your head around, it's gonna like be super weird and big, okay? So you kinda wanna make it feel like the head is like attached to the neck back here somewhere. So I'm gonna put it like right around here within the head a little bit. So then when it rotates, you get a little more of like a subtle thing. It looks like there's a, there's a connection there versus like it's rotating from some other crazy connection point. The connection point is, is key, right? So that's always where your anchor point and control should be. So I'm gonna keep the same circle thing. I'm just gonna change the color. Um, I'm gonna make it like this kind of like teal looking thing up here. And then head, anchor point, where I want it to be, create controls. Okay, cool, so we got that, all right? So now if we rotate this, we move it around, that's all good. Our eye and mouth, for this character, we're not really doing anything for the purposes of this tutorial. So I'm just gonna parent all of these things to the head control. So that way, if we move, move this around, those are just going with it. There's no real secondary animation. We're, we're gonna keep it simple for, for this one, okay? Now let's, let's get our nose in there. Okay, so we have the nose. I'm gonna do the same thing for the nose because we don't really need to bend it for this, but I do want it to rotate, and I want the connection to be right around there, okay? So remember, like, not too far out because that's weird, and not here because then it'll be feel like disconnected, but right where it feels like the connection point might be, where the nose is touching uh, like this part of the, the muzzle, right? So that, that looks pretty good to me right there. Okay, I'm just gonna use the same settings. So we have that, we get that rotating. Yup, that works. And then I'm gonna parent this nose control to the head again. So now, move everything around. It's going with it. All right, this is good, this is good. We're almost there, so close. Let's talk about some ears. Um, so we have, this ear, all right, okay, and then we have this little like floppy one over here. This character is modeled after my dog Lucy and she always has like one ear flopping down and it's super cute. And now it's how I draw all my dog characters, but I digress. So let's talk about how to rig this ear here. Okay, so if we look back at our animation, we wanna give it just a little bit of a, a little bit of a kind of like bouncy bend, okay? I don't think we need any IK because we're not like really bending anything crazy. We just want it to like bounce around a little bit. So I'm gonna add some pins here. So I'm gonna add one at the base, like again, kind of right where the connection might be to the head, um, one in the middle, and then one at the tip. So we can get this nice kind of like archy bend going on, all right? So we have that, and then I'm gonna hit create controls. Ooh, and you know what? I'm gonna make sure, yeah, we have a parent chain because I want this to kind of like bend in unison. I don't want to like have the ear stretch out or anything like that. Okay, so if you use this kind of parent chain thing, it, it, it helps prevent that kind of weird stretching. So we'll hit create controls. Cool, and there we go, all right? So now this one is parented to this one, parented to this one, cool. So now if we open all these and we rotate them, yeah, see we're getting, the, we're getting this nice little kind of like bend on the ear that feels natural. For this rig, I think this works great. Last thing guys, last one. Let's get this other ear. All right, so let's take this ear and give it some controls. So this one's behind the head, so we have, you know, we don't have to worry too much about the connection, but you still want it to, you know, feel like it's there. So I'm gonna put it somewhere around here and I'm just gonna double check we have artwork there. 
Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna put it like right at the very base here. And I'm gonna put another one here right where the bend already is. And then one on the end here. So we can really get this kind of nice like, this is the part we really want to, to animate, right? Okay, so let's bring everything back. All right, let's do create controllers. Okay, there we go, we're set up. And you know, I'm just gonna move these ears above everything so they don't get lost behind the head. Okay, cool. So let's test this out. Okay, yeah, we get this kind of thing. Yeah, cool. And what we'll probably do to get that floppy thing is like only only animate these these last two here, you know, so we get this this kind of fun thing. We don't have to worry too much about, about this. All right, so where what else do we have to do here? Let's go back, grab this. Okay, so our body's good. So we need to get our head in position here. Let's find our head control right here. All right, so, oh, right, we gotta attach the ears. Okay, so let's find these two, these two points on the ears, not that one, this one, and this one. Yeah, okay, we're gonna take these two, and then we're gonna parent them to our head control. So now, move the head around, ears follow, that's great. And all we have to do is attach our head to torso. So let's do that. We'll drag the head all the way to the, where is the torso? Oh, it's down here off screen. There we go. And cool, we are ready. Our character is good. Everything's rigged up. Um, yeah, cool. So that's, that's kind of how I set up this basic rig. The idea is, you know, you could do all this with an After Effects. Uh, without the script or anything, it's it would just it would take a very long time, um, and in, in my opinion, it'd be really difficult to use. So um, that's the reason I made the script is so you can do this setup really really quick. And you know, I I took my time here and I just tried to walk through everything as quickly as possible. But once you do this a couple times, you could probably get a character rig set up, you know, in like something like this simple at least, you know, in 10, 15 minutes, save you time make life easy, do the things you really like doing, like this.